Good morning, World Shakers family and friends. It's good to be with you again. I hope you're ready for the word this morning. I hope you're sitting relaxed, a cup of coffee in your hand. You've got your Bible, you've got your notebook. Be ready. The Word of God can change your life forever. It's a powerful weapon. The Word of God is like a sword, a two-edged sword. And we can use that sword to attack our enemies. So be ready. Here is the Word of the Lord. Morning, family. What a privilege to be with you again this morning. And I now have got a word from God for you. Last week, God woke me up one night and I couldn't sleep any further. And God said to me, pray, pray, pray. And God gave me this word. And I really think we all need to hear this word. I really think um, it's for every single one of us to uh, look at our lives again and say, where do I stand in this word? And um, just to to look at our lives and um, seek God's wisdom over our lives and ask God, help me to show me where, where um, does I fall short, what must I change, and what can I repent of? Because we all need God's power and we need Him more than ever before. But before that, we can't only want God's hand, but we don't want to do what he says we must done in his word. So I want to read from you in 2 Timothy 3, verse 1 to 5. There will be terrible times in the last days, and we all know that we are living in the last days. People will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, proud, abusive, disobedient to their parents, ungrateful, unholy, without love, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treasurers, rash, conceit, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Family, if we must really be true to ourselves, we look at the world and we know we are more lovers of ourselves than lovers of God. Family, I look to every single one of these things and I said, God, please have mercy on us. Lovers of themselves. There's so many people in their homes now in this critical time. So you know what? Me and my family, we've got enough food, we are safe, we've got water, we've got electricity, everything is well for us. And they don't care about their neighbors or anyone else who are least um, unfortunate than they are. That's not God's heart. God's heart is to give to those who haven't got. God's heart is to be there for those who, who haven't, uh, haven't have anything. You know what? God came to earth to serve us. He came to earth to be there for me and you so that we can have an abundant life. If all that um, ha it's happening for you in your mind is me and my household, we must be safe. We must be, have enough food. We must be okay. Then I'm telling you, you're a lover of yourself and you can't afford to be like that because the word of God says in the last days, People will only be lovers of themselves. Lovers of money. The last few years, I must tell you, the people were going crazy. If they can make money, they are happy. Nothing they make, make them more happy than making money. They were not happy in the presence of God. They were not happy praising God. They were not happy loving others. They were not happy with their family and the beautiful gifts God gave them. They were happy when they can make money. When that is you, it's not from God. And you are in, in the end times. And God is warning you, it's not of Him. Boastful, pride, abusive. So many people think they are better than other people. So many th people think um, they are a, a little bit higher than somebody else. I'm telling you, God don't have any black sheep. Everybody is equal in God's eyes. 
God don't look unto people and say, you are better than this one or this one is better than that one. Everybody is equal in God's house. Who dare you to think that you are better than somebody else? Unholy, ungrateful, unholy. Everything goes today. People are sleeping together. They don't obey God's um, Ten Commandments. They just do whatever they want to do. And they justify themselves. It's not from God, family. God gave us the laws to abide because it's His will for us. We have to do it because that's what God wants for us to do. Without love, how can you say you're a Christian and you hate your neighbor? How can you say you're a Christian and you don't speak to somebody in church? God is love. And if you don't love everybody, everybody, every nation, every tribe, if you don't love everybody, then you don't love God because God is love. Slanderous, unforgiving Without self-control, brutal, not lovers of good, treasurers. Family, it's time that we turn our eyes to our wicked ways. It's time that we turn our back on what we have done. If there's somebody that you can't forgive, go and make it right. Because God said he wants you to forgive. Doesn't matter what they did to you. God wants us, us to forgive. Because God forgave us. He wants us to forgive others. Go to somebody and forgive them. Because this is what God wants. Family, if we can go into God's holiness and we start living from him as he wants us to live for him, he will heal our land. Listen to this. He said, having a form of godliness but denying its power. You can't sit in church and think you have a form of godliness. If you only have a form of godliness, the power of God can't work inside of you. Today, we can't live without the power of God. It's the power of God that's going to help us destroy this virus. It's the power of God that will keep us safe. It's the power of God that will keep our bodies healing. We need the power of God. So how you live on a Sunday, you must live every day. You must have the power of the Holy Spirit to live exactly the same as you live in church when everybody look at you and you sit there and you look all holy. You must be holy when there's nobody else who see you, when there's nobody else knowing what you're thinking, knowing what you're looking at, knowing what you're listening to. Then you must also be holy. Family, I don't believe that we, that this virus is from God. I never ever believed that. But what I do believe is that maybe God can use this virus to turn his people towards him. Because nothing else would let them leave the pleasures of the world and turn to him. Maybe it's time that we come together as a nation, as a family, as churches around the world and confess our sin. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, if you humble yourself and confess your sin, God will look unto you and he will heal your land. Family, it's time that we confess our sins, that we leave the things that we are busy with that's not glorified to God, that we leave it, that we don't take part of that anymore, and that we ask God forgiveness, and he will heal our land. He will give us the power of the Holy Spirit. You know, this God of us who we serve, he came through to us for ages and ages. He is the one that opened the Red Sea. He is the one that closed the mountains of the land lions so that they can't eat Daniel. He's the same one that, that uh, um, to tell the sun to stop. 
He is the same one that do miracles, speak to the storm and say, storms, you will calm down in, and the storm calm down. Everything listen to him. The, the, the mountains listen to him. The sea listen to him. The sun listen to him. The waters listen to him. They split up. The creation listen to our God. What is a stupid disease for not listening to our God? And one moment he can say, disease, I cure you. And the disease is gone and disappear on this earth. But we need to do our part. We need to come to God, bow our knees before him, confess our sin, turn our back against that was evil, and do what is right in the eyes of God. Putting persons um, higher than yourself, living for others and not living just for yourself. See where you can help others. Uh, give them a word of encouragement. Help the less. If you got two breads, give the one to somebody else. Help the less unfortunate because that's what God's heart is. Not for you and your family. God's heart is there for everybody. If you will do that, God will come. He promised and he will heal our land. Let this time that we are coming towards um, uh, 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 the past hour, our, our, our feast, let us come, look at our hearts, discern what is wrong in our hearts, confess it, and, 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 and um, make right with God. If you don't forgive somebody, go to them and forgive them, and then let our faith become a voice, and our voice will have power power and we will speak to that disease and that disease will go in Jesus name because our God gave us the victory over this disease and God wants us to heal our land and he wants to heal our nation and he wants to heal Africa but it's up to you and me to do our part and then God will come through mightily for us. Family for the world to change, it starts with changing a city, a town. But before we can change a city or a town, a family must be changed. Before a family can be changed, the individual in that family must change. That's why this moment, the word of the Lord is like a sword. He wants to cut away all those things that is preventing you from going forward. Allow the word of God to strip you, to cut away all those things that are preventing you from going forward because if you change your family can change if your family change the city the town can change and when the city and the town town changes it can have an impact on the on the nation and when nations change our world will be different so it starts with you look in the mirror look in the word of god it says the word of god is like a mirror look in the mirror and when you see that there is lack let, let the Holy Spirit help you to deal with those things and that you can sort that out and allow the Word of God to cut away those things that are not from Him. Can we just pray, just bow your head and let us agree on that. Father God, thank you that we can come boldly to you. Thank you that you are an heavenly Father that as we go and we'll stand before the Word of God, the mirror, it's not out of condemnation, but it's out of love that you will show us our shortcomings. And then we understand because Jesus died for us. And as we repent and turn away from our, our wicked ways, you will, you will change our hearts. And we can be free from those that has, you can free us from those things that have kept us bound. Thank you that I can declare over each and everyone listening to me at this moment by the power of the Holy Spirit. I declare as they repent now, as they turn from, from the wrong in their life and they acknowledge it, that you set them free. It takes one word. It takes one heart of surrender that can be changed forever. Thank you at this moment. As we confess and say, God, help me in that area. Thank you for a release. Thank you for breakthrough. Thank you that they will know that they are set free. We thank you, we praise you for the breakthrough in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen. Family, it's wonderful to be, to be with you. I want to encourage you. The, the Easter time is starting in the Jewish culture. 
Wednesday night, the Passover over is starting. I like the word Passover because um, that that plague passed over and it didn't touch the the children of God who placed the blood on their door. Friday morning, nine o'clock, we will have a have a service. So get get some bread, get some grape juice. We we're going to have communion together as a family. We're going to make a decoration, and we know because Passover is a feast of freedom. We're going to pronounce and declare freedom over your family, over your life. We are coming out of Egypt. That's what we are going to declare. But I once also want to encourage you Wednesday night in South African time nine o'clock there's a global communion service as you go on Facebook go to the Facebook page of Joshua Fowler F-O-W-L-E-R on that web page the link will be there then on Wednesday night nine, nine o'clock people all over the world are going to have communion I want to say family if thousands of people are going to partake of communion something there's going to be an explosion in the spiritual realm as we together worldwide partake of communion um, Cindy Jacobs is involved there um, Sean Boltz Dutch Sheets different people uh, men and women of God involved in this project so we want to encourage you so it's Wednesday night the 8th um, 9 o'clock South African time um, you can go on that link and let us partake together and see there's going to be an explosion. We are, we are declaring it's Passover time. The plague will pass over us and we are coming out of Egypt and we declare freedom. We bless you. We are praying for you. We, we love you. And may you have a wonderful day and we'll see you tomorrow. Remember, be a world shaker.